as an initiative from IDEA Común, which is an institute for social entrepreneurship and community development, which is aligned with El Centro. We develop a fast but um, very comprehensive initiative to increase the participation of Puerto Rican nonprofit organizations in the available funding under the Hazard Mitigation Program. The Hazard Mitigation Program is the last um, program that FEMA implements, and it's the one that it's geared to prevent the loss of life and properties in a future disaster. So basically, it's the project in which FEMA builds better for the future, regardless whether it was damaged or not. You can do new buildings. You can uh, actually improve things that were not damaged, keeping in mind that in the future, <clears throat> You don't want repetitive losses. Through FEMA, we expect $3 billion. And through CDBGDR, which is funded by HUD, another nine, for a total of $12 billion in mitigation. I mean, that's a lot of money. They requested letters of intention from municipalities, state agencies, and um, nonprofit organizations. We realized that most of the nonprofits, first, didn't know too much about what mitigation was all about. Second, we're not aware of the fact that those funds were available and basically would have not competed if not provided with technical support, information, and assistance. The letter of intent is a very critical step because it gives the, the core three, which is the government, an idea of the project. It's a formal pre-application. Um, the core three has to select among those letters of intent the ones that are priority and actually submit them for funding and ask the nonprofit a full application for which they're going to provide technical assistance. I mean, but if you do not submit a letter of intent, you're out of the radar. You might have the, the, the best project, the best mitigation project you could ever think of. If you did not fulfill the requirement, you were left out. First, we um, wrote a quick, plain, accessible, and understandable manual of mitigation. We did a template for the letters of intent with instructions so they could answer all the fields in advance. We did a 30-minute video because some people said, well, we want to get this to isolated communities that cannot come to San Juan, so we have that. And we also um, did three webinars. Uh, I know that municipalities were using um, our template, and even state agencies, I mean, even FEMA people were telling people, hey, get the manual and the template so you can do a better job. So basically, <clears throat> in a flash, we were able to cause an impact. Soon after it ended, we decided to do an impact evaluation of the whole process based on the responses we have confirmation of $515 million in letters of intent. 47% of all municipalities in Puerto Rico submitted letters of intent. I think like eight of them that submitted for two or more municipalities, and nine of them submitted projects that encompass the whole island. So basically we can say that we cover more or less half of the island through our specific efforts. And also um, we assessed the type of projects. Nonprofits were not necessarily eligible for all the mitigation options. Um, most of them were safe houses, generators, um, windproofing, um, or flood proofing of facilities that provide critical services. So we think that that was a hit because safe houses usually are done as places where people can congregate and shelter during a storm but the day-to-day -day operation can be done for anything. Like we have Proyecto Peces who are gonna build an alternative school and it's gonna become a shelter in a very high flood area which suffer a lot after the hurricane. And we have plenty of other, we have projects in Culebra that are similar. Um, we have projects like Radio Vieques which is the only link with the island in case of an emergency. And they're all nonprofit organizations. We're very satisfied 85% thought that the uh, materials were very useful, and 88% said that without the help, they would not have done the type of high-quality letter of intent they did. Surprisingly, over 20% of the letters of intent that were submitted to the government of Puerto Rico were submitted by nonprofits. 
sincerely and without um, without leaving anything inside, I think that we did um, a great job in making that 20% possible in Puerto Rico, but we have more to do.